Hello people, today I'm going to be doing a trailer reaction to the new monster movie Godzilla vs. Kong. I watched Godzilla King of the Monsters last night, just to, you know, kind of set my expectations. And I'm growing a little bit more sour towards that movie. It's, um, the characters and the in-between scenes from the action. Just because I know what happens in the action now makes the, the scenes whenever we don't have action a lot more, um boring so um yeah i'm very excited to see what this is i know it's been very hyped up everyone's been waiting for this trailer this is it and it's gonna be released on hbo max now that's how i'll be watching it so yeah i'm very very excited so let's just check this out and okay three two one this is our only chance coming and this child she's the only one he'll communicate with hmm. i knew that they had a bond she had nowhere to go so i made a promise to protect her and i think that in some way Khan did the same Oh, wow. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> it's nice to see well lit action in these movies. <laughs> oh. These are dangerous times. Godzilla's out there and he's hurting people. And we oh, don't he's back. There's something provoking him that we're not seeing here. And it's she's back. Yeah. Okay. The myths are real. Yeah. There was a war. <laughs> and they're the last ones standing. I keep reaching for greatness because I'm built from it. Who bows to who? Nobody gonna stop for me. Here we go. Kong bows to no one. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> um. It looks like there's a lot of great action, but it also looks like there's more. I the only reason why I'm concerned I'm concerned is I did a lot of research on the writers for this movie, and um, because I watched Godzilla, um, King of the Monsters last night, and I wanted to see you know, what um if the what the writers were if they if they written anything else before, and they did add two writers to this movie. And one of them was a co-writer to Black Widow and Thor Ragnarok. And another one I didn't do much research on. But um, besides that, the writing team is exactly the same. But what has me concerned was that the first half of this trailer was complete um, talking through characters. And I'm I'm sure there, there has to be talking through characters. But the only thing that has me concerned is I just hope they're written well. <laughs> like, um, the little girl communicating with Kong, we've seen that before. But... I, is it gonna work? I don't know. On um, that shot, of Godzilla just kind of going right through a um, a ship was pretty cool. And another thing I really liked about this trailer is um, the action is well lit because one uh, one of my gripes with Kong um, um not Kong um with um, Godzilla King of the Monsters is that they had a lot of low li lighted um, monster fights to mask the um, CGI. So it looks like we're gonna be getting a Oh, that's a very cool shot of um, Godzilla. And this is a looks like a very promising fight on these boats. Um, but another thing that had me cons has had me concerned is that Millie Bobby Brown is back. It's just it's not it's not her character. 
it's um I mean it's not the actress it's um her character and it has and it looks like her dad is back I'm just really praying that the writing with these characters are better because just by the opening minute of this trailer I could tell you for sure there's gonna be a lot of human stuff and if I had to be completely honest I don't think they're gonna get it right I think that um the characters still probably won't be that good if I had to be completely honest, but the action looks promising. I'm probably gonna have the same amount of, um, I'm probably gonna like this the same amount as I like Godzilla, King of the Monsters. And it's, I'm s sad to say that, but it, it's true. Like the, even though there is gonna be some great action in this, and that's almost a guarantee, I can guarantee you that these characters will not be as good, unless if the writers um, really did take that, um, um, criticism to heart and try to write their characters better which I'm praying that they do but to be completely honest I don't think it's gonna be any different when it comes to characters writing even though like I said the action looks promising and I guarantee you there will be a lot of action it's just I hope they I'm not acting for asking for more character screen time I, I'm asking for them to be written better to make them to make the scenes in between the action a little bit more tolerable and I'm just I'm nervous for this movie but I'm hoping that the writers got a grip and did something really cool. But I know I talked about that for a while, but yeah, I'm, like I said, I am at least, if the action is at least on par with um, Godzilla King of the Monsters, I'm probably going to at least think this movie is okay. So I'm, I ha at least I can tell myself I'm probably going to like it. The only thing that has me concerned is characters in between the action sequences and a plot that actually makes sense. But we shall see. It looks like um, what I really liked about um, Godzilla King of the Monsters is how it tried to, how it explored some of the, um, some of the past with these um, monsters and how they, um, exactly how they got there, what their role is in humanity and in Earth in general. And it looks like they're, like they're saying it's an ongoing battle and they're the only two left. At least it looks like they're going for a reason to fight based off that um, background information we got in Godzilla the King of the Monsters, which I liked. So I am, I know I'm really desperately trying to think that this writing would be better, but we shall see. I, I, I'm still kind of nervous, but yeah. it, it And it was a little, little bit of an underwhelming trailer. They showed the high points in the um, little clips that they showed before this trailer came out. But yeah. Anyways, that's my trailer reaction to Godzilla vs. Kong. T comment down below what your expectations are. And did you guys like Godzilla King of the Monsters? So, yeah, anyways, like, share, subscribe, and stuff like that. And adios.